Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this vector problem, they tell us that a wildlife researcher is tracking a flock of geese, and they say that the geese fly four kilometers due west. So we'll say they start right here at the origin, and they fly, they fly four kilometers due west. So that's four km. And then they turn 40 degrees to the north and fly another four kilometers. So we'll go like that. This is also four kilometers, and this right here is 40 degrees. So they want us to find out how far west they are from this initial position right here, and what the magnitude is of their displacement. So first, let's figure out how far west they are from their initial position. To understand exactly what they mean when they say that, is they say they're right here, and we need to figure out from this spot, how far this way did they go? We already know a portion of it. We know that right here is four kilometers. So we need to figure out this component right here, which is the X component, obviously. So this component right here is the Y component. And obviously we just drew a right triangle. So this right here is what we need. So we'll use the trigonometry functions to find this. So we need to find the adjacent to the angle, and we have the hypotenuse, so we'll use cosine or ka from Sokotoa. Ka stands for cosine of the angle, we'll use theta, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. We want to solve for the adjacent, so let's isolate that by moving hypotenuse over by multiplying both sides. So adjacent is equal to h cosine of theta. Adjacent is equal to 4, which is the, or the hypotenuse. So we have four kilometers times the cosine of the angle 40. Four cosine of 40 gives us 3.1. So we have negative 3.1 kilometers. And I said negative three because we're going in the negative x direction. So we have four plus another 3.1. So the total distance of how west they are from their initial position is 7.1 kilometers. Now we need to find out what the magnitude of their displacement is. This one's a little bit trickier because we had an obvious right triangle here. We need to find the displacement. So where they started up right here to where they ended up right here. So if we draw a straight line to that, that is what we're trying to find. We can draw over the top of all this Right here, you can see that we have a right triangle there. So let's redraw this triangle out of the way, just so it's a little bit cleaner. This distance, we'll call it h for the hypotenuse, is what we're trying to solve for. We know that down here is 7.1 kilometers. This component, we don't know. One of the ways that they're making this problem trickier is that looking at this right off the bat, you would think, okay, well, I could just use one of the trigonometry functions. I have the adjacent and I am looking for the hypotenuse, so I'll use cosine, but we don't know what this angle right here is. So we have to figure out what the y component is from the first part in order to use Pythagorean's theorem to find this. So let's go back to here. And we want to find the opposite, so we'll use sine. So we have sine of the angle theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. We're trying to solve for the opposite. So multiplying both sides by h again gives us opposite is equal to h sine theta. So now h is 4 kilometers, of course. So 4 kilometers times the sine of theta, or 40 degrees. So for sine of theta 40 gives us 2.57, 2.57, I'll keep the one just so we don't get any rounding errors, and that is kilometers. So now we can plug that in here, 2.571 am, and now we can use Pythagorean's theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. C represents the hypotenuse, in which, and that's what we're solving for. So we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. So C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So C is equal to the square root of 7.1 squared plus 2.571 squared. 
And so for this, I'm going to use the exact one. So we have this squared plus, we'll come up here, let's do this. We have this plus four, and then we'll square that. I'm doing it just because if you only use the 7.1 here, it would round differently than what Mastering Physics is going to want. So with this, we get 7.5. If you do it with what we wrote here, you'll get 7.55, which would round to 7.6. And the answer is 7.5, and that is going to be kilometers, which is the magnitude of the displacement from where the geese started to where they ended up.